Paul the Six and O'Connell renewed one of the area's best rivalries and it pit two of the better coaches in the area against each other. Joe Wooten and the Knights against Glenn Ferrello and the Panthers. O'Connell knocked off PVI earlier this season in Arlington, but the Panthers were looking for revenge on their home floor. Let's go right to the fourth quarter and the fantastic finish. The Panthers had led for most of the way through three quarters, but in the final quarter, it was the Knights who made a rally as they came into the game undefeated in league play. O'Connell Jr. Mellow Tremble drives down the lane, hits the floater, and ties the game at 43. But the Panthers would answer as sophomore Kevin Dorsey goes hard to the rim, finishes, and puts the Panthers back ahead. Moments later, PVI freshman Tyler Scanlon looking like a veteran, a huge block, says get off my lawn, a huge momentum play as he denies it, but O'Connell wouldn't fold as Leroy Butts hits this clutch jumper, but it wouldn't be enough as PVI senior Jamal Robinson with a clutch contested shot, he's fired up, Panthers lead increases. But then O'Connell with this poorly timed penalty. This one an intentional foul. It gave the Panthers a pair of free throws and possession and essentially closed the door on a Knights comeback. The Panthers went on to win 55-48. to The Knights dropped their first WCAC game of the season and fall to second place in the league. Meanwhile, PVI climbs into the number four slot. The Panthers' scoring attack was led by sophomore Franklin Howard, who scored 15 points. Meanwhile, fellow sophomore Marcus Derrickson added 14, while Robinson contributed 10 more. For O'Connell, Mello Trimble led the way with 22 points, while Butts added 12. Here's what the Panthers had to say about the win. Well, yeah, I mean, obviously in the standings they're ahead of us and you want to be able to, to, to show that uh, you got some fight in you, but you know, we don't want to feel like we're an underdog when we step on the court. You know, the kids have a lot of confidence in themselves and, and uh, I think they showed it tonight. They showed a lot of poise. So it was, it was uh, I thought the, the kids were rewarded for the last two days. You know, they came together as a family after a tough loss, you know, by one over at Gonzaga and they really responded well. And I think tonight they, they were rewarded with that victory. It does. It means a whole lot to my team because we gave them their first win in the conference and they're a rival school. So we just had to come out here and just play hard from the uh, we we were we were kind of looking for revenge, but necessarily we just wanted to come out here and just get the win because we wanted to show everyone that we can play and we can beat the big schools. It was great. Um, you know, it's a rivalry between two Virginia schools. Uh, it's been going on. Everybody's been talking about this rivalry ever since the first game. Even before that, yeah, they I, they didn't really steal one from us. It was a great game, the first game. And I think tonight we worked hard, and thanks to all our fans, and it really helped us get the win. For DCSportsFan.com, I'm Brian Kapoor.